scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time talking about main range release from Big Finish number 185, Moonflesh. Now this marks the first of a complete trilogy of the Fifth Doctor and Nyssa storylines, which means of course that they take place before Arc of Infinity, fitting again into the original gap, which means we have young Nyssa here. Now Moonflesh is set in 1911, so it has a whole period setting which does suit Nissa's character particularly well. Yes, there are flashes of Black Orchid, but that's always going to happen when you take someone back to the beginning of the century, especially when it's Nissa. Hearing these stories, it does make me wonder whatever happened to Eminem, but I will have to go back and listen because I'm sure her storyline had a distinct ending. Written by Mark Morris, who's produced some glorious scripts for Big Finish, we've got, again, a very nice tale perfectly serviceable and a very nice introduction to all of the characters. Yes, it does have echoes of the most dangerous game, Lovecraftian spirituality, Crowley's sort of hinted at, but narrative-wise, well, we've also got links to Land of the Dead with Native American myth about creatures. Basically, you've got a large Suffolk estate where you wouldn't normally find elephants, gorillas and rhinoceroses, but they're here, roaming free. Yes, they've all been hunted, and they've all been brought back in order to provide game for the big game hunter. You can kind of guess where this goes going, and you'd be wrong. Of course, in this adventurous house is a Native American known as Silver Crow. And there is the Moonflesh, hence the title, which is a stone with powers. And according to the Big Finish website, soon the hunters will become the hunted. Yes, the most dangerous game has that whole... The Hunters Becoming the Hunted theme, where you hunt people. And that's probably where they started with this, but that's really not where it goes. The Moonflesh is a remarkably spiritual tale. We've had quite a lot of that lately, and it does fit with the Fifth Doctor's outlook. This isn't, by any stretch of the imagination, my favourite Big Finish story, but it is very, very good. Yes, some of the characters are broadly drawn, and some of the gender politics is, well, they are trying. They're trying to remain true to the perceived nature of the time and they're trying to remain true to, well, narrative structure. The best character in this, by far, is Francesca Hunt's portrayal of Hannah Bartholomew. Now, I looked up Francesca Hunt on the internet and discovered she's the stepsister of India Fisher. She's also done a couple of big finishes in the past. But there is a definite, well, colloquial turn of phrase that India comes out with and that's definitely echoed here. But the character is very different. You can imagine her in a rough riding jacket and jod person. She straddles that line between caricature and definite character particularly well. The rest of the characters, well, they all fulfil their point of the plot. Because as we've dealt with in the past, plot doesn't dictate characters and characters don't dictate plot. They must go forward together to provide a reasonable and good narrative. And that's what we've got here. So I'll play the narrative, recommend this story and get back to you very shortly when I'll be reviewing ooh, some more Doctor Who. Next time, be seeing you. On Saturday, August the 30th, at the Derby Inn Quad, Hooverville 6 will take place. Guests include Peter Davison, David Troughton, Michael Troughton, making an exceptionally rare appearance together, producer Derek Sherwin, and musical maestro Dominic Glynn. Terry Davros Malloy and Deborah Watling and Sinead Michael from Series 5 of Sarah Jane Adventures and as always a gaggle of podcasters and merchandise dealers room. Tickets are priced between £10 and £40. Visit the Derby Quad website for more details and to order tickets. Horror of 
the darkness, come to me, come to me, O earth and flesh, power of the spiral, come to me, come to weave me in your web. What the devil is it? It looks like a, a dinosaur egg made of crystal. I've never seen anything quite like it. Not on this planet, anyway. I used to be such a patient person, but I seem to have lost the ability to relax since I began travelling with the Doctor. Damn foolish of you to refuse the offer of a rifle, Doctor! In my experience, it's hard to make friends with someone if you're pointing a gun at them, Mr. Whitlock. All of them! Coming down like rain! Yes, I'm afraid our problem is getting a whole lot worse! And there, in my hand, was the moon flesh which Wakan Tanka had given to me and allowed me to bring back from the stars. Subscribers get more at bigfinish.com You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its connected properties are copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. To contact the show, email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. Hoostrology, a time traveller's almanac, is available through Telos Publishing or Amazon. Visit www.hoostrology.com for further information. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. Mm-hmm.